Hello everyone, I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. If you are not familiar with new search folder in Outlook, you are not alone. This is new feature in Outlook that allow you to create a search folder for any search criteria. You can use this feature to find emails by senders, your recipient, date or any other criteria. This can be a great way to organize your emails and make sure you do not miss any important message. In this video, I am going to cover about new search folder available in Outlook. You will learn most of the important features and how you can get benefit from this feature if you are using Microsoft Outlook. So open your email, go to folder tab and in the new section, you will see new search folder icon. You can click on it and you can also use keyboard shortcut Control shift and P to open it. Now here, new search folder dialog box appears, which consists of some categories and subcategories. At the bottom of it, there is a custom search folder also available, which I will cover later on. So let's begin from, from the top. There is a section reading mail. The top of it is unread mail. When I select this unread mail, Next option is I have to search mail in my email address. I have already added multiple email address in my Outlook. So I have to select any one of it. So I select one email address, say this and simply hit OK. When I click OK, a separate folder with name of unread mail will be created under new search folder section. Click OK and here you can see from the left navigation section of your email search folders this unread mail folder appears just under search folder now when you click on this folder all the emails which are not read added in this folder if you want to separate those emails which are not read you can use this feature in outlook now well, i will show you another one mail flagged for follow-up when you click on it click ok another folder for follow-up appears so here in my inbox I don't have any flagged email so this is so this folder doesn't have any email now again I click on this now the third option is mail either unread or flagged for follow-up so if I want both these criteria in a single folder so I just simply click here and again select the email address simply click ok now see the number of emails in the unread mail and unread or follow up are similar because I don't have any mail available in my flagged email. So this, uh, the quantity of both the folders are same. Now the another option is important mail. When I select this, select my email address, click OK. Now here, these are my important emails received in my inbox. Why these emails are important? Because this sign which indicates that mail is important. So when I click on this important mail, only nine emails are available in my inbox, which are separated with this feature with the name of important mail folder. Now, the second section is mail from people or list. Number one, mail from and to specific people. From this section, I have to work some minor additional information. I have to add some minor additional information to filter the email and create a separate new search folder. So when I select this, there is a uh, there is a section customize search folder. I have to click on choose. Now the point is mail from and to specific people. So here I want to enter the email address or I have to select the email address from which I have received the email or I have sent the email address to. So when I select the contact, there is multiple email contact list in available in my list. So I, for example, for instance, I will show you a select a specific email to show you how it works. So I just select this or I will select this. Now I have to double click on it to add this email address to here. Sometimes the email address you want to enter is not available on your contact list. So you can manually type your email address here and simply hit OK. The email address is added here. Now simply click 
ओके आगे यू विल सी द ई मेल एड्रेस आई हैव एडेड आई हैव नॉट रिसीव एनी ई मेल फ्रॉम दिस बट इन योर केस मे बी देर आर टर्म्स ऑफ ई मेल्स यू हैव यू कैन यू हैव रिसीव फ्रॉम दिस ई मेल एड्रेस और यू हैव सेंड टू दिस ई मेल एड्रेस नाउ द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज मेल फ्रॉम स्पेसिफिक पर्सन सो वेन आई सेलेक्ट दिस अगेन आई हैव टू क्लिक ऑन चूज अगेन द कॉन्टैक्ट नाउ आई सेलेक्ट माई ओन ई मेल एड्रेस और डबल क्लिक ऑन इट सिमिलरली द ई मेल एड्रेस एडेड इन दिस सेक्शन क्लिक ओके द ई मेल एड्रेस एडेड हेयर सिंपली इट ओके सी ऑल द ई मेल्स रिसीव फ्रॉम स्पेसिफिक पर्सन विल बी एडेड हेयर दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ आउटलुक अनदर ऑप्शन मेल सेंड डायरेक्टली टू मी इन दिस केस यू हैव रिसीव टर्म्स ऑफ ई मेल्स इन योर इनबॉक्स सम आर डायरेक्टली एड्रेस टू यू सम आर address to somebody else and you are in the cc or bcc section so here i am talking about those emails which are directly sent to me select this click simply okay so all the emails which are directly addresses to me will be added in this folder next option is mail sent to public groups so here i am talking about those emails which are generally the bulk emails received to multiple groups or people groups my email address is also in that group so i just select this choose this again contact i select my own email address change my contact i select my own email address again double click on it hit okay and again hit okay so again the email received in a group and I, my email also available in this group is filtered and shown in this folder now the next section is organizing mail so here the number one option is categorized mail so when you select this you have to uh, click choose here is the category if you have few emails available in your inbox which are already having some category say blue green category orange category or any other category you can simply select here or you can choose the color if you have already customized your category or so i just show you an example say i select blue category although i don't have any category in my inbox so the result might be the folder consist of zero emails so i select blue category click okay again click okay so the blue category is added here and simply hit okay so the folder with blue category appears but the emails is zero what i have already told you because i know my inbox i don't have any category here now the next option is large mail this is a very interesting category i generally use this category to filter my emails which are large and i can handle those emails according to my requirement or i used to delete those emails to reduce the size of my folder so here is the large mail now i have to uh, enter the size of my folder so i have to choose uh, click choose now show mails greater than i have to enter the figure here so i select i will show you save 1110 kb and when i click on it the figure added here simply hit okay now the folder name is larger than 110 kb so i have already already have 57 emails available in my inbox which are larger than 110 kb so these are the emails i want to remove if i want which are causing some trouble are consuming my size of my folder now the next option is old mails now this is also a interesting category when i click choose show mails older than i have to enter the numeric figure and here is the drop down list you can choose days weeks or months if i select months and show you select 
and change the figure to two. Say two. Show males older than two months. Simply hit OK. My instruction added here: older than two months. And simply hit OK. Folder with older than two months appear. And I have 470 emails in my inbox which are received two months back. So this is also another way you can remove those old emails if you don't need in your inbox. Another option is mail with attachments. Simply hit select this, and there is no minor inputs required in this section. Simply hit OK. Now with attachments. I have 64 emails which are having attachments. This is the very interesting method to sort or to filter those emails which have only attachments. Now, another criteria is mail with specific word. So when you click on this mail with specific word, click choose, and here I have to enter the word you want to list out those emails having that specific word. So, for example, I'll show you Bitcoin, and I have to add this. You can also add multiple words, so I just simply add a single word and hit OK. Now, when I click OK, those emails having this word Bitcoin will be added in, in my separate folder. Click OK, containing Bitcoin. So, if you give Outlook a few seconds. It will show you all the emails having the word Bitcoin. It's the beauty of Outlook. Now the last option is custom. Create a custom search folder. This is very interesting uh, section. All the above criteria available in Outlook are already designed by Outlook by default. But you can create your own custom search folder according to your requirement. Select this. Select choose. Now you have to name your correct uh, folder. So I name mail smartly. Now click on criteria here. Search for the word. You can enter the word. Say again Bitcoin. Now you want this word to be in the subject field only. Or the subject field and message body, frequently used text field. So I use subject field. You can enter the email address of that email received from, or you have sent to. You can also select where I am, the only person on the two line, on the two line with other persons. You can select this. You can also set the time. You can also select the time received, sent, due, expired, created, modified. Now the second section is more choices. You can also add the criteria, which we have already by default ch checked here in the in the video before. Only items that are unread or read. This is also we have learned before. Only items with one or more more attachment or no attachment. Choose importance, normal, high, low, according to your choice. Only items which are flagged to me are marked completed. Are marked. These are some choices you can select according to your requirement. Now you can also set the size. Which we have learned earlier. You can also equal to. You have to enter the size here. If you choose greater than, you have to size. You have to enter the size in both the columns. Less than, greater than. Now the third option is advanced. Here you have to click on the field. There are multiple fields available. So I will show you all mail fields. Now there are another tons of options you can select. Like uh, show you likes receive. Now when I select receive, condition, anytime, yesterday, today, tomorrow. So I just select today, 
and I have to hit add to list. When I click this, this criteria added in my find items that match this criteria section. Simply hit OK and that way you can create your own custom search folder which will filter all your emails according to your selections. So I will show you how it works. I click OK, again OK and again OK. When my mail smartly search folder appears and there is not a single email available here. So that's not a problem. Maybe in your case you can filter the more important and customized folder according to your choice. That way this new search folder feature help users a lot. I personally use this feature to filter a lot of emails. I want to separate those emails. For example, when I, I have received a specific email from my boss, I used to separate those emails received from my boss. So I will get a quick update. Although that email will be also available in my inbox, but my inbox will be floated with multiple emails received on the daily basis. But when my boss send me an email, that email also create a copy and separately added in that folder and I will quickly act on that email and that will save me from a lot of trouble. I hope you found this video useful. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe this YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.